OMG, my dreams have come true. It's a linear hollow rainbow. Hi guys, it's Crystal, and today we are swatching the Seriously Rainbows collection. Yes! Oh, I'm so freaking excited! And not just because part of my name's in it, but because it's awesome! Went a little Caesar flicker in there. Woo, better dial that back. To start off, we have Really Red. This is the Red Linear Holographic. This does lean very pink. Not gonna lie, not gonna sugarcoat it. But, that being said... It leaning pink is what makes it blend in with the rest of the rainbow and be kind of flawless. Just saying. Just saying. I was going to try to put the whole backstory behind this collection, how it came about, in this video. But I realized that unless I sat down and just talked to you guys for six to seven minutes before swatching anything, it wasn't going to work. So I've actually put the entire backstory in my blog post, which is linked in the description box. And if you give a crap about that, you can check it out. If you don't care and you just want pretty polishes and a rainbow, just keep watching, all right? You're covered here. It's good. It'll be fine. Anyways, these are super gorgeous, super, super duper gorgeous, and they make a perfect rainbow. Next, we have obviously orange. This is the orange obviously this is a perfect pumpkin orange and you can definitely expect to see this in some upcoming halloween and following nail art it's definitely going to be a staple for the season it is so beautiful these all apply really smoothly in two coats and they have the same texture same finish they really don't have much of a texture they're completely smooth when they dry if we're being honest but they have the same finish the same hue the same tint to them they will blend together flawlessly in a gradient. I may or may not be speaking from, you know, <coughs> testing it out. But, you know, that's for me to know and you to dot, dot, dot. But, they are so gorgeous. And Angie put in so much work to make them work together as a flawless rainbow, which I never even expected. When I kind of brought the idea of a rainbow up to her, she told me at that point that she was like a bajillion weeks pregnant. Not a bajillion, but you get what I'm saying. Anyone who's been pregnant knows. All right, you guys know. The baby's worth it in the end, but that journey to get that baby sucks. And that's what they don't tell you when you're trying to make that baby. <laughs> Next we have, yep, it's yellow. The bright, beautiful yellow. Anyways, as I was saying, I didn't expect this to like even happen for ages. And then when she came back and she was like, bam, here it is, I was blown away. She is honestly beyond amazing. She listens to her customers and the fans of her brand, and she's so receptive to new ideas, and she's so creative. I just, honestly, she has been my favorite brand to ever swatch for, and she's one of my favorite makers personally lately. Like, not even just lately. She's just been one of my favorite makers to have gotten to know. And honestly, eventually I hope to meet her like at a con or something if she ends up going to any of those at some point. Because I think she would love it. I think she'd have a blast and I think people would love meeting her and just getting to know her because she is super awesome. As you saw there, I only put Yep It's Yellow on in two coats. I'm going to explain why I did this. I tested it under my studio lights and it looked like it needed three. But when I went out into the rest of my house and out into the sun, two coats did it. So for me, that rules it a two-coater. I know not everyone rules it a two-coater that way, but I do. Next up, we have Gotta Be Green. I was super afraid seeing this in the bottle that it was going to come out very lime. Because for some reason, when I first saw the bottle, I was seeing it. like I, I was just like, this is too light. This isn't going to work. But it doesn't. And it's not too light. And then if you line the bottles up, you can see it's not as bright a green as you think it is if it's standing on its own. When I have the bottle standing on its own, for some reason, it just seems to come off to me as way lighter green than it is. When you line it up with the other bottles, you can see that it fits in with the entire hue of the rainbow. It's just amazing. It's also the only one I managed to smear on my cuticles because I'm a mess. But as you can see, two coats bam beautiful gorgeous 
absolutely loving this one. Not a big fan of greens, but it fits the rainbow, so it's perfect. And you can tell when you sit this and the blue next to each other, ugh, it's gonna be gorgeous with my gradient. You may or may not see that, you know, in the near future. <laughs> next we have, believe me, it's blue. This is the blue. This is so bright and so pretty. This reminds me of the ocean. I wish I was near the ocean again, but that's not gonna happen for like a while, unfortunately. It's okay, I miss the ocean, I'm sad, but I will, I will go back to it someday. Actually, I'll probably go back to it sooner, I'm being a little whiny, but still. We're saving to do adult things, John and I, so we're not gonna be taking a vacation next year. Sad tear, sad tear, but still. <laughs> Anyways, this applies in two coats. This one goes on very sheer. It made me think it might need three. But then I went in with the second coat. It got completely opaque. It covered and I decided, you know what? It does only take two. I was freaking out a little bit for no reason. This is very, very bright, very beautiful. It's just stunning and fits the perfect rainbow. I know you guys are gonna hear me say the perfect rainbow so much when you see posts about these or anything else because they are a perfect rainbow and because guess what rainbows are my favorite thing ever anyone who's been around here knows that last but not least we have positively purple if you made me choose one color which you can't which you guys can't make me do anything I'm my own person if you made me choose one color to be my favorite from the entire collection positively purple would be it just because it's purple and you guys know that is my weakness purple is my absolute favorite color I love it I have always loved it it has always been my favorite color and I don't see that changing anyways this whole collection is gorgeous Currently, it is out of stock. Angie and I were teasing like sneak peeks of it and she opened it up for like a pre-order sale and it's sold out within less than 48 hours. It was gone. She is planning to restock it, but she doesn't have a date or time for that yet. So if you want to be notified of when it restocks, leave a comment on this video. I will comment on this video when it restocks, but if you want to be let know, leave a comment and I will reply to your comment when it is restocked so you get that notification. We will also post on Instagram and of course Facebook because she and I both post there frequently. As usual though, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff and tutorials and everything else. And definitely check out that blog post for way more info and the backstory. And I will see you guys next time.